I'm Gavin Jurgens fury lead narrative designer for the Overwatch team, and I'm here to explore the past of our newest hero, Lifeweaver. Hi, I'm Kenny Hudson, hero producer for the Overwatch team, and I'm here to talk to you about Lifeweaver's gameplay kit. Hi everybody, my name is Daryl Tan, and I'm the lead character concept artist on the Overwatch team. Hi, I'm Taki. I'm a senior character technical artist on the Overwatch team. And for our Thai audience out there, สวัสดีครับ. I'm Tag, นะฮะ. I'm a senior character technical artist on Team Overwatch. วันนี้เราจะมาทำความรู้จักกับนิรันหรือไลฟ์ฟีเวอร์ของเรานั่นเอง. Now this is a development. In the beginning phases, we like to base our heroes off of popular and recognizable archetypes. From an early round of sketches, the silhouette of a plant-type character caught our eye as it inspired ideas of a sci-fi druid. With the idea that our hero would heal with plants, we explored how we could visually represent this. We landed on the idea that he channels the healing properties of nature into these hard light flowers which he uses to heal his allies. We coined this tech Biolite. For the visual language of his Biolite constructs, we wanted it to feel very designed and not have it simply be a hard light version of organic plants. We were very inspired by mandalas. This heavily influenced the look of his kit, from the healing blossom, to his gauntlet, to the lifting platform, and even to the canopy of the tree. We wanted Lifeweaver to present himself as a beautiful character who also endeavors to find beauty in the rest of the world. Thus, we landed with the combination of gold, white, and an elegant pink. His long, silvery hair and chiseled features also helped sell that idea. While we were figuring out the various aspects of Lifeweaver, Taki here burst onto the scene. He had a really cool presentation for us, the character concept team, and he presented to us many Thai skin ideas. And after his presentation, we were wondering what if our hero was Thai. I did not expect a Thai hero to come out of that meeting. I'm still blown away by it. So from that, we have our first Thai hero. We don't often see a Thai character in a video game in general. So you'll be hearing him speaking his native language in game as well. And on top of that, he is released on Thai New Year. How cool is that? So when it comes to his design, the team wanted to use this chance to represent Thai culture as much as possible. So Life Ever come from a traditional family. So his design is heavily influenced by traditional Thai garment. You can take a look at his pant, for example. The pant he's wearing is called Jonka Ben. It's technically a huge sheet of cloth that you wrap around your leg. It's a type of garment we would see in Thailand and its neighboring country. Last thing worth mentioning is that it's also very common for Thai people to have a nickname. Life people have a nickname. In this case, his nickname is Boa, and Boa also means lotus or water lily. Every aspect of his kit presented unique challenges that the team had to figure out. Like every time we play as his hero, there are new scenarios keep coming up that is like fun, that make each game feel different. Yeah, there are many ways to use his kit that um, I think we don't even know about. Exactly. I am sure player will discover even more. I think so too. And more than we don't intend. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to see that happen. Born in Chiang Mai, Thailand, his full name is Nirand Pruksamani. He's confident, brilliant, warm, and witty. He grew up going to botanical festivals and wandering his compound's vast garden, mending plants alongside his family's gardeners. Soon, that vast garden would be too small for him. His parents, desperate to instill order in their middle child, sent him to the prestigious Vishkar Architect Academy, where he met Satya Vaswani, otherwise known as Symmetra. As he grew older, during breaks at school, he used his parents' wealth to travel. In those journeys, he was struck by the turmoil that existed. All around the world, people needed help. Illness, injury, and many other ailments riddled communities with pain, a pain Nirund grew determined to fix. Using this original design and his fascination with botany, he created something new. While hard light made inanimate material, Lifeweaver's new and unstable invention, called Biolite, created organic material that could heal terrible wounds in the blink of an eye. He held Vishkar and its rigorous structures in great contempt. Lifeweaver wanted to provide Biolite freely to the world. Vishkar, 
quickly took issue, arguing that by discovering this technology with Vishkar property on Vishkar's time, it belonged to the company. Lifeweaver refused and fled the academy with his primitive technology, hunted by Vishkar's lawyers and unofficially other more dangerous forces. We aimed for players to feel comfortable and supported around him, to feel included in the circle he's creating and learning how he sees the world. We're also excited because he's an openly pansexual character, and you'll see this reflected in his voice lines, conversations, and other content. Aha. Uh -huh. You're better off with me. Lifeweaver is a support hero that focuses on ranged healing with a playstyle that most closely matches that of a main healer. Lifeweaver has an alternate weapon similar to Mercy and Torbjorn, so he technically has two primary fires. The most important being Healing Blossom, which is a biolite flower bud held in his right palm. Holding primary fire will rapidly bloom the bud, increasing the amount of healing it can provide. Releasing primary fire will send the blossom to the targeted hero. His alternate primary fire is called Thorn Volley and is available after swapping to the alternate weapon, mostly as a means of emergency self-defense. When Lifeweaver switches to this weapon, his right forearm rotates to reveal biolite thorns that he's then able to fire rapidly from his palm in a scattered pattern. Secondary fire is an interesting ability called Petal Platform. When used, Lifeweaver throws a pod that blooms into a flower-shaped platform upon landing. This platform is pressure sensitive and will lift into the air when an ally or enemy steps on it. Once lifted, the platform will stay airborne for a short time before fizzling out. A well-timed jump at the apex of the platform's ascent will result in greater height. The first ability is called Rejuvenating Dash. When used, Lifeweaver instantly dashes in his traveling direction while also lightly healing himself, allowing him to react to dangerous situations or simply to get to places faster. Combining this with Pedal Platform can result in covering much larger distances. Rejuvenating Dash is also able to be used while charging Healing Blossom. His secondary ability is very unique. It's called Life Grip, and it envelops the targeted ally in a protective shield of Biolite before then pulling them to the cast position. His ultimate is called Tree of Life. When activated, Lifeweaver enters a targeting mode, allowing him to place and grow a large tree that pulses with healing energy. The initial placement of the tree heals a substantial amount, followed by continued pulses of lesser healing. Tree of Life also provides cover for your team, acting as a blocker for the movement and attacks of all players. There are a few unique abilities here that stretched our imaginations during development. Life Grip giving players the ability to save allies by shielding and pulling them is something that can lead to some very heroic moments in teamfights and can also pair with some ultimates very well. Tree of Life being able to turn teamfights around by providing cover and healing for your team is something that the team worked very hard on getting right, both in function and in looks. I can't wait for players to find new ways to combo Lifeweaver's abilities with their teammates. It should lead to very exciting gameplay moments. Life protects life. Overwatch has always been about imagining the bright and optimistic future, and few heroes exemplify this more than Lifeweaver. We are so excited for players to meet him, to learn how he sees the world, and see all the work the team has put into bringing him to life. And we can't wait to share more. แล้วเจอกันในเกมนี้ทุกคนขอบคุณครับ I've never been more ready for adventure.